yeah. Oh. Anyway, so this is the checklist of what you need on hikes that many of you might not know, and I've kind of learned this through kind of hiking a lot and realizing things that I do need or that I don't need and stuff. And so, yeah, this is it. Number one, which is kind of a no-brainer, is most of you that do go hiking, go hiking during the day. I personally get too scared to go at night simply because I don't want to step on a rattlesnake or run into some sort of marsupial. Don't want to see. And I like to see things. And that would be, most importantly, sunglasses. And I usually use these or my other aviators. And so sunglasses are really important simply because a lot of the time there's a lot of sun in your eyes and it gets really annoying and bright and you just need sunglasses, I guess. <laughs> um, there are a couple of times where I've forgotten the sunglasses and I've honestly deeply regretted the fact that I forgot my sunglasses, so don't forget your sunglasses. The second thing is during the daytime, yeah, during the daytime, many of us are prone to getting sunburned and so I always carry a small travel pack of sunblock in my backpack simply because you kind of just need it I mean even if you're dark like me and you know you don't sunburn you will get sunburnt eventually and so with the, this is good um, what my friends did was set a timer for every two and a half hours to reapply fine shade and that would be like a break and then you continue on just so you don't have to look like a tomato at the end of your hike so don't forget your sunblock no one wants skin cancer that's not fun Next thing is I usually bring chapstick and most of us girls bring chapstick anyway simply because my lips get chapped in general but a lot of the times it can be really sunny and dry out there. There's a lot of wind and you lick your lips and they get really chapped and it's just a good idea to have uh, something to lubricate your lips. Next, especially if you're going peak bagging, I like to peak bag and hop onto different peaks and because I want a butt because I'm Asian and have a wall for a butt. You want to bring your ibuprofen and this is just a Target brand ibuprofen simply because all ibuprofen are basically the same ingredients as caffeine, whatever, a non-steroidal, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. I had an okay. Um, another really important thing is to keep yourself Keep yourself hydrated. Um, I have a hydration pack. This is the Quest one that was on sale at Dick's. Um, two liters, which I tested out the other week and proved to be very efficient and convenient, unlike carrying loads and loads of water bottles in my jam for. So this is amazing. It was only like $25. Anyway, you want to make sure you're definitely prepared and you have enough liquid to last you throughout your whole hike. I usually bring about like, I bring one liter of water, one liter or more of water and then I bring one of the larger sports bottle drinks because you do need your electrolytes. So a lot of you, if, um, if you don't go hiking that often and you do end up going hiking, you might notice that your hands get swollen after or once you get to the car and it's kind of weird, right? Uh, what it is is an electrolyte imbalance. So what you're doing is you're overhydrating yourself to the point where you don't have enough sodium, which is weird because we live in America and there's sodium everywhere. Anyway, you're kind of cleaning your sodium levels and so your hands start to puff up and that's kind of crazy, right? So just bring a sports bottle or a sports drink and it gives you an excuse to actually drink a sports drink because you know you're not supposed to drink them unless you're like really training hard for something else. A lot, you want to bring a lot of snacks to eat when you're out there. A lot of the people that I bring with me don't realize that they're going to get hungry because I go on around like 13 to 14 mile hikes most of the time and yeah, so I think that the best thing to bring, the best thing to bring on a hike is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I usually just use peanut butter because I don't really like the jelly. It's too sweet and it makes me nauseous. If not that, then um, an orange is really good to bring, an apple is really good to bring. I like kind bars a lot. 
um, but not the one with the nuts and dark chocolate. I usually do the oatmeal, blueberry, and quinoa bars. This is the kind bar that I normally eat. Um, really good. It doesn't make you insanely thirsty and it's not too sweet to the point where you're kind of like nauseous. And yeah, um, and it fills you up. Not so much, but it's it kind of helps you out so you're not like oh my gosh i'm so hungry i like to bring gatorade chews those are really helpful and almonds the emerald cocoa roast almonds that i brought last time which are really good you can see there i have these or the raw almonds there's like tape on it but anyway these are pretty good um almonds are really easy to eat simply because you can just like pour some and pop them into your mouth and they're high in fat so they help sate your hunger. What you want to bring is a map or like a guide of the trail you're going on because a lot of the times you will get lost and that is a very common thing and so I have an app called All Trails on my phone and that helps me out a lot because it gives you one, the directions to the actual trail, two, a heads up, and three, a couple of reviews and pictures of what you're going to expect. So. Um, a lot of the times, especially if you go to the Angeles National Forest, they'll give you like a piece of paper. And yeah, it might not be too much information on it, but it still gives you kind of like um, an idea of what you're walking through. Like, okay, I passed the old ski hut and now I'm passing old Baldy and then you're walking through the Devil's Backbone. So you kind of get a rough estimate of where you're at because you don't get service up there a lot of the time. So. Definitely bring a guide. Uh, also, you're going to want to bring, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a Girl Scout or something, but I have a travel size first aid kit for any emergency in case you cut yourself on a tree or get stung by some sort of animal. You want to be prepared, and it is better to be overly prepared than it is to not to be prepared at all. So, yeah. Um, these are basically a couple of things that I bring on my hikes because I feel that they do the job. They keep me well prepared and safe and not starving and healthy. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there is that. Um, for those of you that plan on going hiking, a lot of people just like type up the peak that they want to go to. You don't want to do that. You want to do, you want to type where you plan on hiking and then type in trailhead. So if I wanted to go to Stoddard Peak or whatever, I'd say Stoddard Peak Trailhead to drive to the trailhead and then you'd walk up there to get to the peak. And that might be obvious for some of you that do go hiking, but for you novice hikers, that is something you don't realize. So that is that. I hope you guys all have a great time hiking and staying healthy. It is really hot outside, at least down here. So try and find some shaded areas, keep hydrated, stay protected, and everything. Alright, okay, bye.